In this video, we're going to go through the basic controls of NetFab. To help you position parts on the platform, NetFab will display the currently selected platform itself. If this isn't the right size, click on Machine Definition, Custom, and change the size according to the machine that you're actually going to be using. In my case, I'm going to go 250, 250 by 250. Then click Change and OK to apply that change. We're going to begin with a very simple part chosen from the Parts Library. Double click on the box, change the sizes if you wish, and then Create Part. You can change the view by using the icons along the top left of the screen. You can also change the view interactively. Hold down the right mouse button and then simply drag to rotate the view. To zoom in or out, use the middle mouse wheel. To pan, hold down the middle mouse button and drag. If we take a view along Z, you can see that currently the part is not in the middle of the platform. Drag the square at the middle of the box to change its position. Notice that there are some handles drawn at the corners of the part. You can use these to rotate the part in any orientation. To move the part in Z, view along X or Y, and then simply drag the part. You can also move parts accurately. Right click and select Move, and then enter the X, Y, and Z distances by which you wish to move the part. Then click Translate, and the part will be moved. Of course, most of the time you're not working on just a simple cube. So what we're going to do is to remove that part. So right click, remove, and we're going to add a different part. Click project, add part, and import the extruder carrier. NetFab displays a simple dialog that shows us some user information about the part, how many of them there are, what the name of the part is, the size, and the number of shells, and most importantly, the quality of the part itself. If you see a green tick here, you can simply add the part. Spend a few minutes just practicing moving the part around rotating the view and just getting used to the overall controls of NetFab.